bad. How about you? Yeah, getting getting better. Semester is finishing, so all right. I'm getting happier. Um, all right. So regarding the the course, uh, we have um, so today we will have the invited lecture uh, with uh, one of uh, Susyang uh, collaborators. So we we will introduce that and we will do it in a minute. So that's today. Uh, tomorrow, just no class uh, group meetings uh, for the projects. And then um, what I'm suggesting is that next week we move all the project presentations to Friday. I had a request from one of the groups to move it to Friday. And I thought, yeah, maybe we can kind of do everybody on Friday. So how does it sound to you people? Uh, is it okay to, to start at one o'clock and do everybody on Friday? Um, the order is up to you. I just put it here. Like if you want to swap the order between yourselves, uh, go ahead. Uh, I, I have no um, I have no preference on the order. It's just that uh, don't change the times. And then kind of you can reshuffle the order if you agree to swap with another group. Um, but the first question is, is it okay to, to have it on Friday? Uh, who, um, yeah, how we should do that. Not, not everyone is today in the class. So maybe what we do is we uh, wait until tomorrow. And then uh, if you're not okay with this plan, then make an issue in the issue tracker. Um, and then if you are okay, the default will be to go with the plan to have, um, uh, to have the Thursday off. And then we will have the presentations on Friday. And then I think, let me bring the calendar. So then the following week, the week, uh, so we, we would have the presentations here. Um, okay, I don't want the event. Uh, and then what we will do, we will have uh, one extra class. Um, actually, we don't. We don't have extra class, but we could have an extra class on Thursday uh, and then go over the re review of the, of the course. So um, what do you think? Um, well, it means a recap of the of yeah, recap uh, lectures or the courses or? That's right, that's right, yeah. Just a recap lecture, just to kind of go over like the summary of all the different topics that were covered in the course. It's sort of like just a kind of a review lecture, yeah. Well, works for me. Yeah, so that works for me. So again, uh, question to students, if it's okay with you. And that would be IMT 4306. Um, and that would be a kind of a review lecture. So we, we will not cover any new material. We will not actually cover any material. What we will do is we will just cover the topics, like uh, the topic outlines of what has been covered in the course. Um, so we can do that on the 6th of May, um, if people are keen. Uh, other than that, uh, what we would do is we would keep the next th uh, Thursday kind of free for you for you to finish the reports and prepare for the presentations, and we would do the presentations on Friday. How does it sound? It, 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 yeah, it is up to you. Uh, I, I honestly don't uh, mind uh, having it on Thursday, but I think I, I prefer having it in a single day instead of two days. Uh, so, you know, you it gives you an extra day for preparation and so on. So that's one suggestion. If you're okay with this, then uh, that will be the, the go ahead. And then the second suggestion is, um, I am proposing that the submission of the, of the reports is the deadline will be 2nd of May, uh, which is Sunday midnight, uh, you know, during the night of Sunday. Uh, and the submission will be done through the INSPERA. And I will ask the examination office to open INSPERA on Wednesday, such that you can, from Wednesday until Sunday, you can submit your, your projects. Um, and the, the submission, I can show you, I can show you the submission. The submission consists of the, a short self-reflection uh, section where you have to uh, self-reflect a little bit. Then you say who was in the group, such that we keep track of like everybody's group and uh, the project. Uh, everybody does it individually, 
uh, it's not a group submission, it's like an individual submission. So you basically re repeat the, the same document, but we only mark one. But then in Inspera, we have to give all group members kind of the grade. So we will have all of you in Inspera, but we really need only like uh, one copy, but we don't know which, who of you will have the copy. So everybody should kind of uh, submit the report, right? Uh, but everybody individually fills in the sort of the self-reflection uh, which is um, yeah, just a couple of, of questions uh, related to self-reflection. Uh, and then you submit the report in a PDF. Um, no, that's, that's where you say, say who, who your group was and who was in the group. Then you su submit the report as a PDF. Then if you have anything extra, like if you have some data file or whatever, then you submit the zip. Um, so then the, there is a zip submission. Uh, this PDF should be unzipped. Uh, just submit like a PDF in a PDF form. Uh, then you can submit the zip if you want to, if you have something to submit as a zip. And then you um, add additional notes or additional comments if you have any comments. Um, how does that look like, uh, Su Xiang? Is it all that you need for your projects? Is it okay? No, I think this looks fine. <clears throat> I, I hope so. Uh, so that will be done through Inspera. And then, as I said, everybody will do it. And then you can have the same document and the same zip submitted multiple times by multiple people. We, we will basically effectively just use one copy. But uh, all of you individually have to do it because Inspera works kind of on an individual basis. Uh, so at least I don't know how to do group submissions. So anyway, it, it's just like all of you will get kind of a, a marked through Inspera. And then Abile, Susyang, and I will have access to this. And then we will kind of grade you. So I'm, I'm kind of proposing this deadline. Um, and then I'm proposing a May 11th to be an oral exam. Uh, so that is, um, again, May 11th um, is the Tuesday. And then we will have um, like the, yeah, from nine o'clock, I will kind of put a schedule again on the wiki. And then we will have uh, sort of the oral exam. So again, I, I need to check a date with you, with all of you and with Susyang and with Abile that that's okay. But um, I'm like, we, we, you know, we have quite a lot of time. We, we don't have to be so early, but if you are early, then you're done. And then you don't need to think about it. Uh, same, same with the report. So those two dates are quite early, but that will leave you sort of free for those other courses that you have. Uh, and then you, you kind of done. It, it's like, if you really insist, we can push this date uh, back to be later. And we could potentially push this date a bit back as well. But um, we originally were planning to have the submission on 30th of, of, uh, of uh, April. So this gives you a little bit of an extra weekend. And then having this close to this, I mean, we need at least one week, but then you don't need to like um, recall too many things because it will be kind of fresh. So like that's the proposal. Um, again, if you have an alternative proposal, then put it into the issue tracker. Uh, if uh, any of those dates doesn't work for you, put it into issue tracker. And then if you agree like as a class of having kind of a, a different um, different approach, a different model, then uh, let me know. Yeah, I didn't check the chat, sorry. So, um, fine, fine, fine. People are quite happy. Yeah, so going through Inspera, um, presentation will be on Friday, not tomorrow, next Friday, and then uh, the exam will be online. Um, I think uh, it makes sense to have an exam online uh, because uh, Su Xiang and Abile, they will be online. Um, but if anyone is local, uh, on uh, like in Jovic, uh, I will be in the office. So if anyone wants to actually be like, uh, come to the office and, and do the oral exam, like physically, uh, that's an option. But I, in, in the table, just say that, um, that you would like to do it physically. Uh, I, I don't know what the people preferences, 
uh, we, like before Corona, we were usually running oral exams in a mixed mode. Some students were online, some students were physical. Everybody from Jovic was physical and some Oslo people and so on were online. Uh, but now uh, it's your choice. Uh, if you prefer to meet with me uh, physically, then come along. If, if you want to do it in Zoom, we will use Zoom. Um, yeah, by the way, how many chances do have, uh, the students have for, for the examination? I guess three or four? <laughs> so, for example, if you, if, for example, if they want to have a better final, final mark, so they can propose to attend the examination again and extend the time or extend the time for doing the project work, right? To my understanding. No. Yeah. So, so the, uh, yeah. So, so regarding the project work, uh, there is no extension. And then if the students are not uh, happy with the grade, they can reset the, the project work like in August and get a second, but they have to write a second report. It's, it's a kind of a different report. So the, there is no second chance for the internal portfolio in, the, in this course. And usually there is not, none in the other courses. Uh, in terms of oral uh, examination, we have to tell the students the grade uh, usually within the day uh, or before they kind of leave. Um, such that they can, because uh, like a student can be very anxious or very um, nervous, and then the grade might be something that they kind of don't like. So then they should uh, have a kind of a second chance. So you can ask them more, okay? Uh, so no the normal procedure is uh, we try to give the grade uh, on the same day, uh, and then the students who want to retake the oral then tell us and then like the same day or next day, they kind of retake the oral again. Uh, and that is possible. Um, but for the written exams, it's again a receipt. So the usually all the receipts are done in August and then the, there is a different exam and the students can kind of retake the exam to get a better grade. But there is no like a second chance or kind of the, 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 the try to get a better grade. It's kind of like one shot um, setup in NTNU. Okay, how about project work? So project work is the same. So it, it is a little bit complicated with project work to do RECIT because in theory, you should give students kind of a different project and then they should work over summer and then submit it in August and then you can kind of uh, regrade re it. Uh, so typically, Typically, it's a bit problematic, and uh, let me just yeah. double check uh, what is the course. Um, I will see what is the course um, agreement saying. So if I check English. Um, Yeah, so there will be a, a recit in August. And in theory, it says internal portfolio cannot be resubmitted. So there is no um, there is no receipt for the project, uh, only for the um, oral exam. But as I said, oral exams, we, we will try to not have it in August. Uh, like if you are not happy with the grade on the day, you can kind of retake it uh, on a day, uh, yeah, I, I, it says August as well. So you can, th in theory, re redone it in August too. Um, yeah, so that's what it says. So that for the project, like it says, there is no reset. Yeah, all right, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so Anastasia will join in Jovic, great. So I will, um, I will make a table on the, on the wiki, kind of similar to this table with times. And then I will let you to fill in the, the table for the oral exam. Uh, and um, we will announce more details closer to the day. Um, and the deadlines will be yeah, Sunday for the projects, for the reports, and then uh, Tuesday, May 11th for the, for the oral. And I will tell you more about the oral exam later, later on. Uh, so there are any questions about this?
If there are no questions, uh, I, I think uh, Susian has access to Inspira because I've added you to the to the template. Uh, so I, I think you should be able to to view the submissions later on, and then we kind of logistically organize it. <laughs> yeah, great. Uh, there is one more thing. Um, the 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 thing is we need to have. Um, we, have, we need to have kind of a course uh, report. So the, you know, one of you, one of the students supposed to be responsible for preparing the, uh, the project ends with the report submission. That is true. So the, the kind of the project will end here uh, on, the, on the deadline of the project submission. You, if you really want, and you, like if you missed something, like you were working on something and you kind of missed it before the submission, but it takes only a couple of hours or some, some small time, you can work on the project beyond the, uh, beyond the submission of the report and then tell about it during the oral exam. The oral exam will ask you about the project, of course, and you will be explaining what you've done and so on. And if there is something that you've done beyond the report, of course, you can talk about it and uh, show and tell during the oral exam. So in theory, it kind of ends on, on the submission day, but you know it, it really will end like on the oral exam, uh, because if you do something in, in, in between, uh, you can still talk about it and it will kind of count in your favor, right? Um, we, we technically don't uh, encourage that. So you, you're not supposed to kind of do that, uh, I think. Uh, you should, uh, because the portfolio is part of the coursework, and then the exam is kind of a separate process, but we can't prevent you doing something for your project in the meantime and then telling us in the oral exam, right? So um, that can happen, and, and that, that's fine. But in, in, in theory, if you kind of try to be strict, you should uh, uh, finish your portfolio on the, on the Sunday, 2nd of May. Yeah, what I was saying, um, oh yeah, the reference group. So we, we should have a reference group and we should have uh, you guys preparing a report. I know it's always a pain uh, and I know, um, you know, people are not too keen doing that. And uh, if you can do this, if you can prepare the evaluation report uh, by the end of the course, it, it is usually submitted to us uh, after the exam such that you don't feel any bias or any pressure sort of, you know, influencing potentially grading or whatever, right? So it's not urgent yet, but in May, I will kind of bug you after the, the oral that we will have this sort of um, evaluation report. And to help with that, what I usually do, I have this kind of a course feedback wiki page where people can submit things that sort of uh, happened throughout the semester and which were kind of good or bad or whatever. And then I use it as part of the report because I have to submit as a, as a course coordinator, the report at the end anyway, uh, together with your report. Uh, so, you know, if, and, and doing this is a bit more lightweight. Uh, so if you prefer, put some comments here, and then I will kind of include it into uh, my report. And then I encourage you to, um, to submit the, uh, the report about the course in a normal kind of a reference group way, uh, but, um, I know that this kind of hard, like uh, pe people tend uh, to try to avoid this. Uh, so I would like one of you to sort of um, uh, help me and be sort of the responsible for the report such that you can co collect some of the feedback and some of the uh, suggestions for improvements or uh, positive or negative things about the course. It doesn't have to be very long. It can be a couple of bullet points. Uh, and then yeah, send, send it to me into, as a PDF, and then I will kind of log it into the course um, uh, feedback, like the course uh, quality control website that I have to do. Um, so yeah, I will remind you about that like after the, the exam as well, again. But I'm already telling you that if you have something in mind that was something fresh, you can kind of put it into the course feedback and that's, that will end up in the, in the quality report. Okay, so that was all from me um, regarding the kind of the course logistics. And I will, um, I will stop sharing and I will pass the microphone to Susyang so he can introduce our invited 
invited speaker and we can go on with the with the lecture uh, all right thanks uh, can you share can you allow dr Li share her screen because basically he will give she will give the lecture today yeah i i already did that yeah all right all right she's my colleague in university of Helsinki, and uh, i think she has a very strong mathematics background because she got a phd from the mathematics department from the university of Helsinki. And she moved to the computer science department and doing uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence, especially related related to the, <clears throat> related to the wearable computing and the mobile computing technologies. All right. And yeah, by the way, because uh, because she told that the slides contain some unpublished result, so she wouldn't like to record the lecture. So if no objection from you, probably okay. we stop recording. Yeah, yeah. We can yeah. we can stop. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you.